Martial arts have served as a divine beacon of heavenly light that has guided me safely through the dark and dangerous moments of my life. They empowered me with the ability, skill, and strength to stand with advantage against the worst of mankind whenever I needed it. The martial arts, they, they covered me with an invisible armor that deflects fear, confusion, and stress. My mind is constantly nourished with calmness and peace, even when chaos surrounds me. The dedicated practicing and training of the martial arts discipline my mind, body, and spirit. The competitive combat against fellow, you know, superior skilled martial arts artists, fighters also, it humbles my ego, you know, but it also encouraged my development and it kept my perception regarding my, the ability of my execution and the execution of others pure and uncorrupted. And the precise and time execution of martial arts techniques during life and death situations, like when I was a bodyguard and I was a bouncer, has saved many lives repeatedly, you know, especially mine. Now, the martial arts have never been an activity that I do. In reality, I can't even say that they have been a big part of my life because that would be discrediting what the martial arts have done and what they have been to me. The martial arts to me, they, the martial arts have been my companion. It's been my brother, my sister, my mentor, my leader. It's been my disciplinarian. It's been the answers to all of the questions I have. You know, basically the martial arts have been my way of life. They live in the way that I walk, the way that I talk, eat, sleep, the way that I clean, the way that I plan, the way that I prepare, the way that I make decisions, the way that I act, the way that I respond. They're, they're, but you'll see the martial arts within me, living through me. You know, most importantly, the martial arts are the hands that pull me back on the right path whenever I begin to stray from it. And that's not hard to do. We all stray. And the martial arts have been that disciplinarian hammer that keeps me where I'm supposed to be. And I love, I love to teach martial arts to others because it's my passion to guide others to their greatness. You know, I love nothing, nothing is greater than seeing somebody realize that, that look in the eye when they realize they could do something they, that they never imagined they could do. However, the martial arts are divine to me. My sincere instruction can't be purchased with money, you know, charm, promises, intimidation, anything, you know, none of that. Because the, the passing of the martial arts to another for me values beyond the reach of money and materialism. You know, it can only be bought with commitment, honor, sweat, blood, tears, and more, most importantly, good character. I, I could never truly teach, you know, the enlightened, the enlightening gift of the martial arts in, a, in this little restricted time period for a certain amount of money to somebody. The true learning of the martial arts is, is not regulated by time. There is no time stamp on it of how good everybody can get in this amount of time. That, that means it's not, been, it's not really been, been given. And you, you gotta think the amount, the amount of thought and work that goes into honing somebody into a martial artist, it cannot be measured for pricing. Because a, a true instructor a true instructor's heart, mind, and spirit guides his instruction. You know, we adopt our student's life. We have to discover, you know, that people's strengths, their weaknesses, their truths, their lies, their fears, and their passions. You know, we kind of, you know, we start to, we, we, sometimes you'll see, we start to learn to walk like them, we can talk like them, and even think like them. This is something that's really funny. If you ever, you know, we catch them at the right time. I can impersonate all my students. I, I know how they act, I know how they speak, I know how they move, because I have to, for me to change and adjust them, and adjust their body and adjust their mind, and adjust their life path, I have to know what they are right now. So I'm, I'm so familiar with all my students that I can, I can mimic them all. It's just, it's, it can be, you know, entertaining time at the right, the right time. But, you know, as a martial art instructor, a true instructor, we, gotta, we have to discover the student's talents, his desires, you know, what tempts them, you know, and we have to do all of this while we strategically maneuvering ourselves into a position where we can get within, within our student's life as a trusted friend, but more importantly, as an authority figure. And all this, all this work we do, you know, all the work that a, a martial art instructor does, 
It's, so we are properly positioned to guide the students. You know, we got to be there to guide his thoughts, her thoughts, emotions, and behavior while we converting them into a deadly weapon. And, and I ask you, if I'm a martial art instructor, I'm converting people to deadly weapons, and I did not do this while arming this student with weapons that, that can kill, what kind of teacher would I be? You know, a true martial art instructor takes on the lives of his or her students with, with a sincere intent to make the student better than he ever was. That's what I'm out there doing. I'm trying to find the student or the students who want to be better than I was. Not out of arrogance and ego and na 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 na, but out of the fact of the big to make the martial arts better and to take what I've created and what I've learned and find out and discovered and take it to a higher level. You know, now I'm a I'm a dedicated and strict instructor to martial arts because I know what the martial arts can truly do for somebody if it's passed to them properly. You know, the martial arts constructs human adults and youth into powerful tools that can save and enhance lives. You know, the, the martial arts creates bridges over areas that somebody never imagined they could cross and, and reach and get to. You know, the martial arts is, is like a it's, a, it's a giant instruction manual for the human mind and body. And it, it allows you one to learn things about his or herself that nobody in the world can teach you. The martial arts opens your mind, your body, and you will learn things about yourself that you cannot go learn at Harvard or Yale or I don't care where it is. In, in any kind of facility, it teaches you to learn about yourself.